Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion and this week we're checking out the AeroPress in a little AeroPress 101 video and we're asking the question, traditional or inverted method? So if you've just got an AeroPress and you haven't used it that much, you're trying to figure out how to brew it at its best, there are two main ways of brewing with it. First of all is the traditional way. Now first things first before we get started, uh, whenever you're using any type of brew device that has a paper filter, you always want to make sure you rinse that out so that you don't get any papery flavours in the cup. So once you've rinsed that paper filter, put it in that cap and uh, screw the cap into the bottom part of the AeroPress. Uh, stick that on what you're going to push down into. From here we're going to weigh out the coffee and in both of these recipes I'm going to show you we're going to use 19 grams of coffee. For this traditional brewer, we're going to use a slightly finer grind. So on my grinder here, if my normal grind for filter is about 8, I'm going to grind on about 6.5, just a little bit finer than your normal filter grind. So we put that coffee in and we're going to add 220 grams of water. Uh, we're going to use water that's 96 degrees, so if you don't have a kettle where you can control the temperature, just about 30 seconds off the boil. When I pour that water in, I'm just trying to saturate those grounds evenly. Once we've got the 220 grams of water, take it off the scale because you don't want to push down on that scale. And at the 45 second mark, we're putting the plunger in and we're just pushing it straight down. When you've pushed all the water through, you'll hear a slight hissing sound. That's just an indicator that all the water's gone and you don't need to push any further. If you lift up your plunger just a touch, it will create a vacuum and then nothing will drip out when you uh, take the AeroPress off. So just as a reminder for traditional, 19 grams of coffee, slightly finer than a normal filter grind. We've got 220 grams of water and we're going to push it down at the 45 second mark. Now flipping over, literally, to the inverted method, uh, the main reason that we would choose to invert the AeroPress is that we create immersion brewing, which is basically uh, the coffee is just hanging out in the water and we can control the contact time before we flip it over and plunge it down. When I use the inverted method, I use a grind size similar to filter brewing, um, and that's a little bit coarser than the traditional method, as I was mentioning earlier. With the inverted method, we push the plunger so it's just sitting in the bottom of the brew chamber, then we add the coffee in. So we're going 19 grams again, and we're going 220 mils of water again. Pour that water in and give it a good stir so that we're making sure that we're evenly saturating all of the coffee. Now once you've given that a stir, you can put the cap on, remembering again that we want to wet that paper filter first of all to get rid of the papery taste. And with this inverted method, I'm going to flip over at one minute and then steadily push down. So in tasting both cups, what did I discover? So uh, in these particular brews with these particular recipes, I found that the uh, traditional method had a little bit more acidity uh, that could be because of the way that the water started flowing through the AeroPress. It could be because I had a slightly uh, faster contact time. And when it came to the inverted method, I had a slightly longer contact time and I found that there was a little bit more body in the cup. Now, which one's better? Well, at the end of the day, that's up to you. Uh, there's uh, lots of different ways you can brew the AeroPress. In fact, there is a World AeroPress competition and in that competition, everyone gets given the same coffee and then they have to come up with a uh, recipe for the AeroPress and you can make these recipes as crazy as you like. The good thing about the AeroPress as a brewer is that there are so many options to play around with. You can play around with the grind size, the temperature of the water, uh, the ratio of coffee and water going together, uh, how long we brew that for. So all these things will impact the flavor of your cup. So if you're a uh, brewer that's just learning how to brew uh, different styles of coffee, the AeroPress is a great brewer for you. Now for both of these recipes, I brewed with uh, Colombian La Dorada y Potrajito, which is one of my single origins. Uh, I prefer the acidity in that, so I liked the uh, traditional brew this time around, but my normal AeroPress method is uh, inverted, so um, yeah, there's lots of things to play around with and that will affect uh, your cup. Thanks so much for watching this episode and hopefully it gave you some insight into the AeroPress, a couple of basic recipes, there's a couple of other videos on my channel, I'll put a link at the end uh, to show you my uh, competition recipe that I use. So you can definitely check that out. And if you're in Australia, you can buy some of that coffee. I've got a new Burundi coming in very soon. Um, if you're really into coffee, I also have a coffee subscription and you can get a free sample when you sign up to that. So it gives you a chance to uh, try my coffees and uh, see what you think and see if you want to be a subscriber. The Coffee Fusion subscription customers also get private access to my uh, subscription community page on Facebook. 
Uh, you also get 10% off uh, all merch, so if you need some brew gear, stuff like that, sign up and you'll uh, start getting those benefits. In the meantime, thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it and learned something, give it a like. If you're new around here, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep frothing!